bigger than Biggie, Tupac, and Jay-Z combined in Jamaica and known all over the world. Well, now recording artist Vibes Cartel is in the fight for his life and for his freedom. All right, Lisa Everest here now with the exclusive interview with his lawyer in Kingston, Jamaica. Lisa. Well, Stephen Laurie, he is known as the king of the dance hall, a music superstar with millions of fans worldwide. But for nearly a decade, Vibes Cartel has been behind bars on a murder conviction, a crime he insists he did not commit. Now, in an exclusive interview, his attorney, Isop Buchanan, tells me there's new evidence of foul play and fake phone messages that could throw out his conviction and set cartel free. So he's taking the case to London in a high-stakes appeal. Artist Vibes Cartel, whose legal name is Adija Palmer, is much more than a performer and prolific creator. He's an influential cultural icon, the epitome of the self-made man from the streets who succeeded despite the odds. Now facing a life sentence on a murder conviction, he's in the battle of a lifetime, his last chance at freedom. Looking at the evidence, this case was about getting Vibes Cartel in prison and leaving him there. Human rights attorney Isop Buchanan tells me that much of Cartel's 2014 murder conviction, along with three co-defendants, was based on questionable evidence from a BlackBerry Torch cell phone with a SIM card. What was put before the jury was evidence that we do not know the how, if it is authentic, but certainly what we do now know is that there was tampering of that cell phone. Vibes Cartel's attorney says that evaluation came from a court-authorized British digital expert flown in from the UK. He believes that, along with what he says are violations of Cartel's constitutional rights, earned him the chance to appeal the conviction to the UK's Privy Council, similar in power to the United States Supreme Court. Our hope is that the Privy Council, in reviewing the evidence, including the fresh evidence that will be put before them, would come to the conclusion that everyone has, has looked at the case or is certainly have access to the material, would find that the conviction is unsafe and cannot stand. Attorney Buchanan says the Privy Council has several options, but he's focusing on the best case scenario for the imprisoned Dance Hall King. We're looking for a complete overturn of the conviction and naturally for Mr. Palmer and his co-defendants to be free. Now, Attorney Buchanan says he plans to file what's called a fresh evidence application to the Privy Council within the next several weeks. He tells me he's confident that after a thorough review, justice will prevail and Vibes Cartel will be a free man 